Welcome to Transcendent. Okay, so guys, in this video, let's talk about uh, integration by partial fractions. So we get to use integration by partial fractions when you have um, a fraction that you're able to resolve into the partial fractions. So let's say you have um, the integral of 1 then divided by 2x plus 1 then x minus 1. So if you look at what we have, we are able to resolve this fraction or resolve it into its uh, partial fractions. So how do we do that? So let's forget about the integral first of all. What we have is 1 over 2x plus 1 equal to x minus 1. So such a partial fraction can be resolved by equating it to a over one of the products on the denominator which is 2x plus 1 then plus b over x minus 1 so we're trying to see what we can put where there is a and b so that when we had it's able to get back this side okay so from this step we want to find a and b we can multiply by this throughout the entire equation. So if you multiply this part with what is down there, you're just going to remain with 1. Then if you multiply the 2x plus 1 by this part, the 2x plus 1 is going to cancel out when you remain with a being multiplied with uh, the x minus 1. Then the other side you're going to remain with uh, 2x plus 1. So in short, you just equate the 1 being equal to a multiplied by the other one and b multiplied by this one. Okay, very basic. So now let's try to find our values of a and b. So we work with by elimination. So I'll think of a number if I put it where there is um, there is x there, I get a zero. So if I put a one there, if I say let my let x be equal to 1, it's going to be a 0. So the equation is going to be 1 is equal to, this part is going to be eliminated, so you are going to remain with b. Then where there is 2x, we put there a 1. 2 times 1, you have a 2, plus 1, which is giving us 1 equal to, in the brackets, you have 3b. So our b is going to be equal to 1 over 3. So we found the value of what? the value of b. We can do the same for a. So think of a number. In short, what you can do is just equate what's in the brackets to be equal to 0. So you are going to see that your x is going to be 1 can go the other side, it will be negative, then you divide by 2. It will be negative 1 over 2. So the moment you plug in negative 1 over 2 at this point, it's going to give you negative 1 plus 1 to give us 0. So this part will be eliminated. Then what you are going to have is 1 being equal to a in the brackets where there is x, we put negative 1 over 2 minus 1. So that is going to give us what? So negative 1 over 2 minus 1 is going to be, so we have 1 is equal to, so we are going to have negative 3 over 2. I believe we know how to add fractions. Okay. So what happens there to find our, what should we do for us to find our a? So we can multiply by the reciprocal. So negative 2 over 3 and negative 2 over 3. So our A is actually going to be equal to negative 2 over what? 3. So we found the value of A and B. So remember our B is 1 over 3 from their part point. So now let me create some space so that we now show what we have. So we say let this partial fraction be equal to so we said a over 2x plus 1 plus b over x minus 1. So we found the values of a and b. So what are we going to have? So where there is a, I will just put it, I will just factorize it. So I have negative 2 over 3. Then in brackets, or should I say in the denominator there, we also have, um, let me just say 1 over x plus 1 
then for the other part what do we have we have b so plus 1 over 3 then the denominator part I have 1 over what? x minus 1 okay so let's say this is in the brackets now so remember from the distribution of uh, the integral each part can be can now be so an integral there so we have the integral of so I said the, the, the constants can be factorized so we have negative 2 over 3 outside then we have 1 over 2x plus 1 inside then that part as well we factorize 1 over 3 then we are remaining with the integral of what remaining with the integral for 1 over x minus 1 okay so whenever you have the power of uh, 1 in the denominator part the natural log is supposed to come in okay why does it come in because we know that if you get let's say the 2x1 the 1 over 2x plus 1 you're trying to integrate it you take it to a numerator it will be 2x plus 1 to the power negative 1 so if you are integrating you add um, a 1 there it will be a 0 which is going to be eliminate that out so whenever it is to the power 1 we deal with by it by introducing natural log so therefore what we're going to have is negative 2 over 3 then what is inside is going to be the natural log of 2x plus 1 the other part is going to be plus 1 over 3 then we have the natural log of x minus 1 plus c so this is our integral this only works when you have the power of 1 now in a case where you have a partial fraction of let's say 1 over maybe 2x plus 1 maybe the power 2 then you're integrating like this so it's going to be a different case in such a case or maybe it's negative 2 it's going to be a different case okay you work with a power rule in such a case now let's look at another practice example in this case we have uh, 3x over x plus 2 then x minus 2 so of course we're trying to find the integral right so I'll go direct we need to resolve it first of all into its partial fractions so the same principle is going to apply we have a over x plus 2 you have got b there over x minus 2 so how do we find our a so we can multiply throughout we are going to remain with 3x this side so what we are multiplying with is this okay so meaning that they are going to divide so we have our a is supposed to be multiplied by that x minus 2 then our b with the other one this one x plus 2 so one to think of values that if you plug in there we eliminate our a so in this case it's 2 so this part we're going to have 3 multiplied by 2 at this point if you put a 2 it's going to be eliminated so we're going to remain with our b then 2 plus 2 we have a 4 so we have 6 equal to 4b so we have a common we have a common uh, divisor there which is 2 2 so we have 3 is equal to 2b and therefore our value of b is what 3 over what? 2 we found our b let's find our a as well so we're going to find our a by finding something that you can put there to get a 0 so it's negative 2 so we have 3 multiplied by negative 2 being equal to this part if put a negative 2 we have negative 4a the, this part is going to be eliminated so <coughs> basically what do we have so what, we, what what is this leading us to we now have negative 6 being equal to negative 4a so this is basically the same so our a is going to be what 3 over 2 okay so we found our a and our b what should we do now it's now the matter of plugging in the values that we have found
So the integral of uh, that, so what is our a? Our a is 3 over 2. Okay. So I'll, I'll say 3 over 2. Multiply by 1 over x plus 2. Then the other part, my b is also 3 over 2. Multiply by 1 over x minus 2. So from at this point, you can now distribute the integral. So the integral of that, so we factorize the 3 over 2 to be outside. So we are, we are remaining with 1 over x plus 2. Plus, so even this point, we can factorize the 3 over 2. So what we have inside is 1 over x minus 2. So what do we have at this point now? So these are always the powers of what? The powers of 1. So we have 3 over 2. Natural log of x plus 2. Plus 3 over 2. Natural log of x minus 2. So not forgetting whenever you're integrating you add a constant c. So that is our integral that okay for the last uh, example uh, we have the integral of uh, 8x minus 14 over x squared minus uh, let me say minus x minus 6 so that is uh, what we have for our last example. So feel free to pause the video and try it out. So in this case where it's like this, you can't separate it. Okay, so the only way to do that is when you factorize the denominator. So we're going to factorize our denominator. x squared minus x minus 6. So the product there is negative 6. Our sum is negative 1. Think of the factors. What numbers can you multiply to give you negative 6, you add them, they give you negative 1. I believe uh, the factor is going to be negative 3 and uh, 1. No. Negative 3 and 2. Okay. So, let's try to plug in now. x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. So, common there is x. We have x minus 3. 2 there is common, we have x minus 3. So what this is uh, actually giving us. So what do we have now? So we have x plus 2, x minus 3 as our factors. Okay. So we can do the same. We'll say okay. Let our a, let's have our a over x plus 2, and let's also have our b, x minus 3 as well. What should we do then? So this is supposed to be equal to this part now. So we have 8x minus 14 over x plus 2, x minus 3. Okay. So we are multiplying again by this throughout. So this is going to go away. And what are we going to remain with? So this part A is going to be multiplied by x minus 3. Our B is going to be multiplied by that. Being equal to 8x minus 14. So our goal is to find the values of what? The values of A and B. So, as usual, think of something that if you put there, it will eliminate that. So, there I can put a 3. So, my A is going to be eliminated, and I will remain with B. I also put a 3, a 3, and a 3 there. So, I have B, 3 plus 2, which is going to give me a 5. Then, the other side, if I put a 3 where there is x, 
3 by 8 is going to, to give me 24. So I've got 24 minus 14. So we have got 5B. 24 minus 14 is 10. So my B is what? 2. Okay? Let's think of uh, what we can put where there is B so that we eliminate it. So I can put negative 2. So all the values of X will put negative 2. So for A we have negative 5A is equal to where there is x there put negative 2 we will have negative uh, 16 minus 14 so negative 5 a so 16 plus 14 we have 30 there negative 30 so you divide by 5 our a is going to be what our a is going to be 6 okay so we found the values of a and b we can now plug in so what we have is uh, our a, our a is what? 6. So I have 6 over x plus 2 plus my b is 2 over x minus 3. So we're trying to integrate this now. So I'll distribute the integral like that. So what we're going to have is uh, we can factorize the, the constants. So we have 6. So the integral of that is going to be the natural log of x plus 2. Then there also remove the two. Then the natural log of that is going to be our integral. So this is the way to go about it when you are dealing with uh, integration by par by partial fractions. So you deal with it when you are dealing with um, the functions that you are able to resolve into their partial fractions. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe so that you are updated of uh, the new content that we post.